As the world continues to search for cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, some automotive manufacturing companies, especially Toyota, ensured that hydrogen combustion engines are seen as a promising alternative to fossil fuels. Unlike other car manufacturers that have gone all electric, Toyota is taking a different route. New CEO Koji Satos, who is taking the position from long-term CEO and grandson of the founder Akio Toyota, he believes that hydrogen technology is one of the main technology to reach zero carbon target, which target cause millions of dollars penalty if it's not reached, and also force automotive manufacturers to make significant changes on their lineup from internal combustion engines to electrified engines. So let's dive in, we are going to talk about Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine, how it works, what is the pros and cons, and what it means for the industry. What is hydrogen? Hydrogen is an energy carrier that has been used for many years. With the objectives of carbon neutrality, zero net emissions of greenhouse gases linked to human activities by 2050, the use of hydrogen has many benefits such as the absence of pollution and CO2 emissions, which makes it a major asset in energy transition. Millions of tons of hydrogen are produced and used without incident every year, and it's already being used as a power source in buildings, electric cars, ships and trains. Hydrogen engines offer impressive ranges and can be refueled in less than five minutes like vehicles running on fossil fuels and much faster than electric vehicles. The only byproduct that comes out of the exhaust pipe is water. How hydrogen technology works. All hydrogen engines use a fuel cell, which converts hydrogen into electricity. Their proton exchange membrane or PEM fuel cell uses the electrochemical reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to produce electrical energy without emitting any harmful pollutants. The only product is water. What sets Toyota's fuel cell technology apart is its unique approach to humidification. A crucial aspect of PEM fuel cells is to keep the membrane sufficiently hydrated. Toyota's fuel cell module accomplishes this by diverting a portion of the produced water back to the membrane, eliminating the need for a separate humidifier. This innovation streamlines technology and makes it more efficient and convenient for users. The modules themselves are tremendous engineering seamlessly integrating the fuel cell stack and other components needed for air and hydrogen supply cooling and power control. Electrically powered cars have been on the road for almost two centuries, but petrol cars took the lead after World War I. The history of electric cars can be broken up into five distinct periods. The early pioneers of electric mobility between 1830 to 1880, the transition to motorized transport 1880 to 1914, the rose of internal combustion engine 1914 to 1970, the return of electric vehicles 1970 to 2003, the electric revolution 2003 to 2020, and the tipping point 2021 and beyond. And Toyota start to electrified and cutting down on fossil fuel powered vehicles back 1997, when it first rolled out the Pirus hybrid technology. They have been on eco-friendly train for a while now. Toyota is investing other alternative fuel technologies hybrid is used for Prius, and hydrogen fuel used for Mirai. New CEO, hydrogen is the way forward when it comes to carbon neutrality. Koji Sato mentions the importance of exploring non-electric solutions. He said, we want to ensure that hydrogen stays viable option, we need a production and transport supply chain unless we see evolution there, we cannot expect the volume increase in the energy use, however this is not to say that the company is discounting electric vehicles. Koji Sato believes that electric vehicles will also play a crucial role in Toyota's future, alongside hybrid and hydrogen vehicles. But they are not the only one automotive companies. All automakers on entire world are keeping their R&D very busy to create environmentally friendly cars using electrical energy, solar energy and hydrogen power. Renault, Scenic Vision The new concept vehicle from Renault is an innovative and eco-friendly crossover that combines next-generation design with hybrid fuel cell powertrain technology. Under its hood lies a powerful electric motor, producing 215 horsepower, a 21 horsepower range extender hydrogen fuel cell, and a 40 kilowatt hour battery. BMW X5 Hydrogen, the BMW X5 packs a powerful punch, boasting a combined 374 horsepower from its fuel cell electric system. The reason behind is not just about saving the planet to be carbon neutral, it's about providing energy security, 
by reducing on demand and dependability on oil, improving air quality to prevent possibility diseases, and minimizing environmental impact. And once hydrogen produced, it's also efficient and cost-effective to distribute. Most new vehicle hydrogen refueling stations create hydrogen on site with electrolysis using 100% renewable surplus energy, and these stations are containerized and only require water and power to operate. Power is supplied on green tariffs, or at some stations, is sourced directly from solar or wind on site. Today Toyota is selling Mirai, which is the only hydrogen vehicle in California, sold more than 3,000 units yearly, and targeting more with current lineup and with next-generation vehicles. To selling more hydrogen vehicles, Toyota is planning supply more stations to reach more customers, with very short refueling time. Toyota has now claimed to have created a new way of harnessing the power of hydrogen forming integral part of Toyota's Beyond Zero campaign, and they are planning to do it with H2, which is the name of Toyota's for hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines, and it's looking like future of automotive technology. Toyota is eager to be a leader on H2 technology and want to conquer in all segments. R&D team recently revealed the Corolla Cross H2 concept, a new prototype with hydrogen combustion engine. The car is going over 400 kilometers with only 5 kilograms hydrogen, and the only thing emits is 50 liters of water. Considering environmental friendly perspective it is tremendous, isn't it? Besides it's eco-friendly, let's talk about the power as well. Last year, Toyota engaged with Yamaha Motor to create a hydro-fueled V8 engine, which has 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque, only runs with hydrogen. Also the sound, most of the customers are urged to hear the power of the engine, that's why this is the one of the reason that customers are not jumping over the electric vehicles. However, hydrogen engine has fantastic sound with the exhaust bar, which is not much more different from the gasoline car engine, with no fossil fuel to burn. So what is the pros and cons of hydrogen engines? Hydrogen vehicles have some of the same positive features as battery electric cars. They're smooth, quiet, and peaceful to drive, and they emit no carbon dioxide or other harmful exhaust out their tailpipes, just water vapor. They also lack the charging time problem that electric vehicles have. It takes just five minutes or so to refuel them for another 300 to 400 mile stint. Hydrogen vehicles are much more affordable than EV since to build EV battery, manufacturers has to consider lithium and nickel materials which cost are increasing year over year. Other advanced technologies to increase efficiency, such as regenerative braking systems that capture the energy lost during braking. In future there might be another advantage that hydrogen vehicles might be incentivized. Today in Europe and USA, electric vehicles sells getting additional benefit, since they are contributing on countries' carbon neutral targets. So who knows, one day hydrogen vehicles also benefited on government's regulations, and going to be a huge benefit for customers and automakers. There are a few disadvantages, however, the most challenging being the availability of hydrogen fuel. While plans a decade ago called for California to have 100 hydrogen stations by now, in reality, the number is about 60. There is also no filling station, can be built on your own home parking area, as we do for electric vehicles today. So hydrogen technology has also limitation and drawbacks, as the automotive industry continues to evolve, it will be important for companies like Toyota to carefully weigh the pros and cons of different technologies and work towards solutions that are both environmentally sustainable, cost-efficient and practical for consumers. We will see the acceptance of hydrogen technology by automakers, government and customers. So what do you think about this technology? Please let us know down in the comment section and thank you very much for watching the video. Please consider subscribing to Car Nerd Video for more videos about car industry, future technologies and latest car news.